Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris where I just realized these guys are determined exterminators. I didn't actually know that. That's really interesting because that means that we can take their territory with just an end threat war. Okay, I think we should definitely do this. So they're very weak, right? They're very, very weak. We need to get our units into position for this war. And of course, we've got Alpha Centauri Secundus here that we're going to need to apparently recolonize. Sure, we'll go ahead and get that done. No problem whatsoever there. Let's grab all of our stuff here. Well, actually, let's cancel that recolonization. I don't actually know if we need to do that or not. I'm not sure if this invasion will do the trick. No, this is... This is now considered just an uncolonized world. Okay. That's different from when I restarted the game, but it's because the Sentinels went into the Earth. Noted. So we're going to need to deal with that before we declare on the other guys, right? That's definitely something we're going to need. Special project complete. That's the price of progress. Spore vents to Barnard Star Prime. Okay. So we've finished up this armor upgrade. Let's go ahead and go for... Defense platform hull points is not good. Let's not do that. Let's go for... Mm, I feel like we don't need minerals from jobs. Kinetic weapon attack speed. And let's also bump this up to fastest speed. There we go. So we should be arriving up here fairly soon, but I definitely do want to attack the Jonan Index. Oh my. Oh my. How do we get there? Okay. We apparently have something in the situation log for it. The ancient robot world. I guess we'd have to jump drive there? Interesting. We'll check that out later. For now, of course, we need to get our science ship over here. We also need to reinforce our fleets if we need to. We don't actually need to. Let's check through our jobs here. Okay, we've got quite a number of things on this factory world here. We require housing and a job. An industrial district will solve both, but not permanently. We're going to get a city district in there too. On this forge world, an industrial district will do the trick. On this forge world, an industrial district will do the trick. And is that it for now? Nope. On this forge world, we need an alloy foundry. On this one, just a planetary administration upgrade. On this one, an industrial district. On this one, an alloy foundry. Looks good. Okay. So that's all absolutely fine. So let's go ahead and check into this. Into the Earth is only 8% done. So that's going to take some time. 180 days, looks like. That's fine. The next thing that I want to do is fix our food problem, but I also really want to attack the Jonan Index. Like, really, really badly. Now, they're currently losing this euthanization war against the allied Adnoran systems. No wonder they're losing. Okay, uh, we need to move on this then. So we are going to get all of these guys together, right? We're going to get all of our fleets except for the first ready to launch this attack. So all of these guys, including the Axis Mundi, are all going to head over to Quiet Dark for right now. They're going to travel to Terminal Egress. We need a leader here, apparently. We'll go ahead and recruit one. Checking in on the rest of these. Okay, that all looks good. Cool. So those are all on their way. This colony ship is on its way over to Alpha Centauri Secundus, and we're just going to plant it here for now. Into the Earth is 50% done. Cool. So we're still waiting for the 8th fleet to show up here. It should be there very, very soon. There we go. Now we're going to attack the Jonan Index. Now this is going to be interesting. We're going to have to get rid of a lot of these stations. We're going in via the XT-81 Singularity. So. We're going to declare war on them with a containment war goal. 
The Awoken will join in there. They're a Prospectorium under the Index. The Awoken are where exactly? I don't actually know. It's fine. We don't care. We're going to do an end threat mark. All of these units are going to instantly jump through into the XT-81 Singularity. We need to take it one day, but there we go. Beginning attack run on enemy station. And it's just instantly ours. Fantastic. So we now have a gateway and an L-gate here. Now, we're going to send the second fleet up over this way, with its goal being to do something like this. The third fleet is going to head down over here towards Groman. The seventh fleet is going to head over towards Morgard. The sixth fleet down to Python. Many of these fleets don't have anything to do yet. That's fine. We'll give them things to do later. The Awoken are down here. Noted. Okay. So we've taken over the Singularity. Now we're going to move in. We're going to need our armies eventually. That's for sure. How are we doing on this research here? 60 days. Cool. So we'll let that go. And we're going to take over a lot of territory here. No doubt about it. Cool. We can activate the surveyor, which we will definitely do. Five additional physics research sounds good. And we definitely need those armies. Absolutely. So we're continuing to research this. And that'll finish up eventually. Estrian is now under our control. Cool. We see a decent number of ships over here, but it's no threat to any of our fleets. None whatsoever. So we're not concerned about that. And we are, of course, continuing to group these together. We can get out here incredibly quickly, thanks to this gateway here. So yeah, their fleet is no threat to us at all. None whatsoever. We're finishing up into the Special Earth now. Complete. We've breached the secret entrance on Alpha Centauri Secundus. It opens on a recently aban abandoned temple complex where a species of humanoids prepared for their final journey. At the end of their mortal existence, they abandoned their flesh bodies for a virtual afterlife within a simulation of paradise called the Evermore. At some point, it was decided the entire population would move on to a digitized existence, leaving only a few behind to guard their resting place. Condemned to an eternity of servitude, their minds were uploaded to robotic bodies, and so the Sentinels were created. Now gone without a trace, the Sentinels have left us with a parting gift. A single drive containing the entire population of Alpha Cent Cent Centauri Secundus, digitized for all eternity and inf infinitely bored. As it turns out, Alien Heaven consists of a never-ending abstract board game centered on galactic dominance through the accumulation of legumes. Oh my. So we can repurpose it. And yeah, put Situation them to work with some science. Updated. Beautiful. So we can now repurpose the Evermore. And let's go ahead and recolonize this. What could possibly go wrong? I'm now going to split off half of these ships. So we're going to split our fleet in half. These guys are going to get a new general. And we're going to come up here and begin landing on some of these worlds. So we need to come up to decimal here. What is their actual strength? 321? That's not a threat. Okay. Looks good. Now, the rest of these are, of course, still going to group in with the initial one here. We know it's like 2.5k, right? So that's okay. No problem whatsoever. We've taken over Pytham, and from here we're going to head over to Bagiel. Now, I'm going to grab the fourth fleet here, and they're going to head to Lesath. The ninth fleet is going to head up to Kadria. The eighth fleet is going to also head up this direction, I feel like. And that'll the do for now. The conquest of a new world has begun. Excellent. I was expecting there to be an event here. I'm leaving forces here deliberately, knowing that there may still be some things going on here. We'll see. But our war is going nicely. No doubt about that. 
We knew this would be the case, of course. We absolutely knew that this would go well for us. And we're hoping that we get just a huge swath of territory out of this. Completely uncontested. This will be a very big deal if it happens. So, I like it. We did finish up our shield hit points. We do find ourselves negative on energy credits. So, I'm going to grab energy credits from jobs here. Additional starbase cap will be helpful. We'll need it as we continue to take over this territory. These guys just switched positions in hyperspace. That's awkward. But we're not going to have any problem dealing with this. It's completely fine. And, yeah. I, I believe we win against this as well, right? Oh, we definitely do. We've got two fleets here. We should easily win this. So, this is very laggy. We did win out over somewhere. We're going to need to win over here eventually. Cool. They have a big problem here. They have no real way that they can handle this. These get grouped together. Excellent. They have a really, really big problem here. Okay, the reason we're negative in our energy credits is because we're over our starbase cap. So we could consider dropping this singularity station. I don't think that's a good idea. We'll keep it around for the moment. And yeah, we're easily winning this, as expected. They just, they've got nothing. They have no way to do anything here. Beautiful. So this territory is ours. We're going to wait here and repair. We should be able to repair here if we just enter orbit. And we should also reinforce our fleets, which we will definitely do. Cool. So we're pushing up over this way. I would also like to push down over here. We've also got this toxic world that we could terraform. Which we may want to consider doing right now. We'll get that started. Cool. Our admiral, admirals are gaining traits. This is all to be expected. We're going to head up to Kadria here. Okay. All warriors are victorious. We're actually going to have to turn around here and deal with these forces. Okay. I'm going to move they our second fleet our out over this port. way as well. Cool. So that's all looking good, right? We took over Estrian, and from here we're going to go land on Python. One of our space ports. So on Decimal here as well. Are, are all of their worlds named Decimal? That's not going to get confusing at all. <laughs> Fantastic. So we will continue to reinforce our fleets when we need to. We currently don't. We're heading back into Lesath here. Do we catch them is the question. Scientific well, we're going to catch this achieved. battleship anyway, I think. Special we were supposed complete. to arrive here negative 14, in negative 14 days. Why are we not jump driving? Or jumping, rather. There we go. Battle we're jumping. Is joined. Cool. They okay, are so this is fine. Our space port. We shouldn't have any real problem with this. They are moving a lot of forces in here. No doubt about that. But we are moving forces over as well. Where is our other fleet that we just sent? Where indeed? Where did that go? Hang on. You guys need to not go in here at this moment. We need to take... Oh, they went over here? That's weird. I'm going to send the third fleet over to Pytham. And the second fleet is coming to Lesath. They're, they're both going via Lesath through the gateway. I think we still win this, but we are taking losses. But we'll definitely bring those reinforcements in. Now, these guys have repaired up over here. We're going to send the 8th fleet. Actually, the 8th fleet is not quite repaired. The 7th fleet has, so we're going to send it out. I told you not to go in here. What are you doing? I literally told these guys not to go in. Okay. I swear I told them not to go in. Just get out of there. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty confident that I told them not to. But sure. So obviously we win this fight, right? That was always going to happen. We're just going to park here for the moment. That will require quite a lot of reinforcement and repair. And these guys will take over pushing forward. Cool. We're going to push out over this direction. I do see these guys here 
potentially going to attack Zarim. Hmm, that third fleet is pretty far behind here. Let's just jump drive them. Hmm, this is 94k. Nah, we'll go this way. It should be reasonably quick. So we do need a new tech here. We are going to grab, say, fleet command limit. Yeah, that'll do. Cool. So our science ship isn't doing anything over here. I do want it to make its way out over this direction and start researching some of these projects. This transport fleet does not appear to be necessary anymore. We'll take it up over here. And the fourth fleet is, of course, repairing for the moment. Battle is joined. Cool. So we're going to pop back in over here and head down to the Her Black Hole. But I think we might be too late. Especially if we go in at negative 20 days again. <laughs> Are we jumping now? Yeah, we're, we're prepping for the jump. But they're already at there. So yeah, we're definitely a little behind them. Can they attack the XT-81 Singularity, though? I don't know that they can. And we can reinforce it very, very easily. So we're going to send the 8th Fleet over to Kraxima via that exact route. But it looks like we're going to catch them here in Kraxima, so that's completely fine. From here, the 9th Fleet can push down to Tirsonia. It, it looks like they can win that on their own, but we're going to send the 7th Fleet with as well, just to be on the safe side. We should also begin terraformations here. And here. There we go. And I want this fleet to push out over this direction, grabbing Semesta. Cool. Have they ended their other war? Surprisingly, they have not. Okay. So they're not fully focused on us at this time. That is noted. And yeah, they're attacking up over here, which is reasonably is expected. One of our stations. The 8th Fleet is going to head out over this way. Since we caught these guys here. It's no longer necessary there. And we easily defeat this fleet and take that back. Beautiful. So we're going to take our army up to Morgard and land here on Parabola. And then we're going to head over to Zarim as well, I think. Actually, no, we're going to take the Her Black Hole and Python. That's what we're going to do there. The fourth fleet is still reinforcing. We now need like 23,000 alloys to reinforce. I'm not too concerned about that. It should be okay. Like I said, they've got a big problem ultimate here. Sacrifice. What fleet? Oh, it's just a frigate. I don't care about that. But these guys are here. Yeah, that's fine. They easily lose. Cool. So there's no way they can keep this up, right? They're losing badly at this point. We're going to take the 7th Fleet over to Siluria, and we're going to take the 9th Fleet over here. Cool. They're trying to fight back, but they're really not doing very well. They really, really aren't. Maybe if they were to group all of their forces together, they'd be able to do a little damage, but they've not been doing that thus far. There's a lot in Semesta right now, and I want these guys to go hit over here just to clear that up. And these guys can group up as well. Looking good. Initiating ground assault. Excellent. Now, where's our other transport fleet at? You're back at Seoul? That's fine. You're a little on the weak side because you went in. <laughs> Let's go ahead and recruit up a bunch more of these here at Earth. Okay, we'll call that good. And then these guys, they can probably make their way out, out over here and head over towards like the Her Black Hole or even into Groman. Uh, they're at 537 and this is 128. So yeah, that is a viable thing. We can definitely do that. We do need to put this leader in. There we go. Cool. So we're going to be hitting a lot of these locations quasi-simultaneously, right? We're trying to... We're trying to mop up their fleets and make it so that they can't really do too much else here. Now, they have a mega shipyard here. That's actually huge to take that over. Yeah, this is going to do a lot of damage to what they're trying to do. 
getting us that mega shipyard is going to be huge. Out here, it looks like they're trying to go reinforce their mega shipyard, maybe? That is a reasonably strong group of units there. But we definitely want to take this over. The mega shipyard will remain theirs, and unless they fix the bug, we'll continue pumping out units until such a time as we land on this planet. Debris analyzed. Okay, so they're attacking up here with a reasonably strong force. Let's go ahead and turn on our edicts at this point. So we're going to do focusing crystal, volatile reactive armor, explosives, ammunition, shield boost. That'll do just fine. So that boosts our strengths up to be hopefully high enough. They're now no longer connected via this hyper relay. They are sending in another force here. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to send both of these units out. We're going to assume that this station is capable of dealing with whatever comes out of this mega shipyard. Initiating ground assault. Hopefully. There's also the, uh, the ring over here. So this is all looking good. The third fleet needs to head down to team up. That's for sure. The seventh fleet, I would like to head down over this direction. We're looking to eliminate their ability to fight back, right? That's our primary goal right now is eliminating their ability to create additional forces. I'm going to queue up a bunch over here where we go something like this. Cool. And the first fleet is no longer necessary here. So we're going to send the first fleet up over this way into Yunduk, with its goal being to take out this territory. There we go. The Axis Mundi is still chilling where it's at, and we will continue to reinforce our fleets. We are taking a few losses here and there. That is all to be expected. They are attempting to fight back, but it's not going well for them at all. Is this now weak enough that we can consider directly attacking it with just one fleet? Yes, it is. I like it. So a lot of their strength is now down this way, it looks like. That's noted. We're working our way through this, no doubt about that. And our transport fleet in Morgard should definitely head up into Kadria and start landing on Rational. Cool. Now our science ship up over here is currently assisting research. Yeah, we've got the one in Morgard here. Let's go ahead and research these projects up over here and down here and back in Kraxima for the time being. Cool. So the fourth fleet requires orders. It also requires reinforcement. For now, we're just going to make our way up over this direction, like so. Transport Fleet 12 has finished up in Groman. That looks like that should flip over to us. Yep. Perfect. Next, we're going to head over to Python, and we're going to land on Decimal. That's 257. So we're definitely going to need reinforcements up here eventually, but for now, it seems okay. Beautiful. The second fleet requires orders, and its orders are to go help at Semesta. And the eighth fleet is also going to go help at Semesta. So all of these are going in from all directions. Semesta is pretty done. This mega shipyard should be fully under control now that this is repairing nicely. So that's looking good. And yeah, this appears to be completely and totally under control. I don't think they have any chance here. Beautiful. And we haven't even brought in the third fleet yet here. So this is all good. There's the third fleet reinforcing. Debris analyzed. And it's just over. There's nothing they can do here. Beautiful. So this is, of course, also ours. And three fleets here is a little overkill, for sure. We're going to send one down over this direction. Actually, I'm going to send two. So we're going to send the second fleet as well. And then the eighth fleet... That, realistically, can make its way out over this direction and help out over here. So that can head over to, like, Marinus. That seems fine. Let's go ahead and clean up Initiating this direction. Ground assault. Cool. Victory shall be ours. 
The third fleet isn't doing anything, and I want it to come down here and grab all of this territory. It should go fairly quickly due to the hyper relays. Excellent. This transport fleet is not ready to be moved out just yet. We're still working on bringing that up. Can we actually take over the Awoken territory down here? Maybe. Actually, I think we'll be able to. Just jump drive in there, and I think the game will let us. I hope. Okay, so I think the difficult part of this war is over. I think now it's just a mopping up action. There's a little bit out over here still. We're making our way through these territories. Seems okay. Most of our focus is down here, that's for sure. They have a little bit of forces up here, but it's really not bad. So let's continue to reinforce our fleets. And the seventh fleet isn't doing anything at all right now. Um, we're already heading over this direction with the eighth fleet. So I'm going to send the seventh fleet in to eliminate the Awoken. Cool. Let's get that out of the way. And this is definitely looking good. Our warriors are victorious. I'm actually going to redirect the sixth and the second down over here to eliminate these fleets. There we go. Cool. They've got a decent amount of strength here in Jabeth, and I'd like to eliminate that. Yep, this is all looking fantastic. Absolutely no problems whatsoever here. This is just free. I love it. Scientific so the first fleet achieved. is making its way up over here. We managed to get autonomous ship intellects. Okay, sure. We'll grab shield. Oh, we actually just got that from our research. Cool. It is time to put a cut in, though, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to finish mopping up the Jonin Index. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Kentuin, James, Shadow Wolf, Mlohan80, Kentogan, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Spartan News, Unisil, Rogue Corvid, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.